Grace and peace to you from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm excited to report on the activities and ministries from the past year. The past year continued to be another challenging year. Many people in our congregations and neighborhoods continued to suffer greatly due to the ongoing COVID pandemic and harsh economic realities. The weight of the pandemic has increased anxieties and mental health issues in our congregations and in our communities, and it's still impacting the ways we do ministries. We continue to navigate the deep historical racial brokenness in our nation, our synod, and the ELCA. But in spite of these difficult circumstances, we continue to be rooted in Jesus and share and reflect the good news of Jesus Christ. I have the wonderful opportunity to serve our synod in various ways, especially by accompanying the new and renewing mission table, the racial equity team, the stewardship and mission support table, and to serve the wider ELCA. I'm honored to share with you some of the Senate tables and team's highlights from the past year, as well as some of their future work. It's a privilege to serve with the new and renewing mission table and its faithful chair, Reverend Shannon Anderson. The table supports new ministries and current congregations that are finding new and creative ways to revitalize their ministries. Like many of you, we are not currently doing ministry as we would like, but we are still trusting God and moving forward. This year, the table continued to offer Sabbath grants to rostered leaders in our synod for much needed rest and spiritual rejuvenation. The table gave nearly 40 rostered leaders the opportunity to recharge and to listen to God. To help congregations improve their online presence, we offered technology grants to support congregations' ability to offer quality online presence and to extend sharing God's love beyond the church building. In line with the Synod's commitment to cultural competency, the table in coordination with Pastor Nathan Swenson Reinhold developed a multicultural competency coaching experience for congregations seeking to grow in this area of multicultural competency. Moving forward, the table will focus on growing and supporting ethnic and multi-ethnic ministries in our synod. As a synod and as a table, we are committing ourselves to diligently and equitably forming these new ministries. We will begin by growing and supporting Latin name ministries in our synod. We will invite and support congregations in the synod to build relationships with campuses so that we can grow campus ministries in the synod. This exciting work will be accomplished in coordination with Pastor David Schenk, who was a new gift to our Synod staff. During this challenging season of ministry, the table members have been faithful and determined, and I look forward to participating with them in God's future work in the Synod. The Synod's racial equity team is co-chaired by Reverend Karen Brow and Reverend Franklin Morales. The racial equity team focuses on creating Synod-wide worship, worship materials, commemorations, prayer gatherings, and space for, for conversation and reflection. This team created several powerful trainings, events, and resources. This year, the team created a space for the Synod and the wider church to commemorate the sixth anniversary of the massacre of the Emmanuel Nine with a communal Bible study. The team gave our Synod the wonderful gift of Sacred Ground, a film-based dialogue series on race and faith. The aim is that all congregations will take part in this deeply rigorous and transformative training. The team recently created Journeying into Holy Week, a vigil for healing and understanding. The vigil reflected on healing, understanding, and celebrated the various cultures of our church in this time of immense division in our nation. The bishop and I ask everyone to take part in all the offerings of the racial equity team. If you think stewardship and generosity is boring, you should sit in on the Senate Stewardship and Mission Support Table meetings, chaired by Reverend Darcy Tillman. The table seeks to invite people into relationship with God and our neighbors through the gift of generosity and storytelling. This is a wonderful and creative group of people who deeply believe and have experienced how generosity can transform your faith, life, community, and the world. Generosity is vital to being rooted in Jesus and participating in building God's kingdom today. Table members have been engaging in relational work to build deeper relationships with congregations, the table contacted pastors of each congregation in our synod in order to understand needs and challenges and to gather possible points for future work of the table. The table also mailed postcards to congregations and actively plays for the congregations of our synod. Budgeting is never fun, but it's an opportunity to share the compelling story of how God is working in each congregation. To this end, the table 
offered a Bishop's Leadership Academy on creating a narrative budget and storytelling. Guided by the Bishop's call to faithful cultural competency, the table gathered with the Synod's ethnic and multi-ethnic ministries in a posture of listening, mutual learning, and openness to the Spirit. From this meeting, the table is actively seeking ways to serve these congregations and to better meet their needs and share their wonderful gifts. The table also crafted a powerful training around planned giving and storytelling. The table gave the Synod Celebrating God's Gift, a 2021 Advent devotional. A diverse group of people shared short stories that were combined into an Advent devotional and shared it with the entire Synod. And recently, a small cohort began practical training named Cultivating the Craft of Asking. This cohort will learn techniques to develop skills in asking donors for financial support and how to share the story of God's work in their community. I am deeply thankful to accompany the faithful and fun work of the Stewardship and Mission Support Table. I thank God for all the members of this table. And lastly, I am very proud of my collaborative work with Reverend Dr. Aaron Swenson Reinhold and the ELCA. Together, Reverend Aaron and I developed transition guidance and training for rostered leaders and congregations to assist with pastoral transitions and retirements. We also developed an intentional congregational discernment cohort with the support of Duke Divinity and the Synod. The first cohort was a success, and we have started cohort number two. With the ELCA, I serve on the directing committee to support the ELCA's Vulnerable Congregations Initiative. In addition, I'm serving as a member of the ELCA Task Force on Church, State, and Civic Participation. The task force is engaged in a multi-year process to develop a social statement on church, state, and civic participation. In closing, I want to thank Katie Evans, Julie Hamry, Natalie Kane, Catherine Reeler, and Reverend Dr. Aaron Swenson Reinhold. I will miss Reverend Aaron's friendship and wisdom. It has been a remarkable journey that has been spirit-filled. I will deeply miss her. A special thanks to Bishop Ortiz for her laughs, her incredible patience, and her unflinching openness to the Holy Spirit. I also thank all the congregations and individuals that have supported the work of the Synod. And I want to remind everyone that none of this work could have been accomplished without the generosity of the congregations and individuals in our Synod. And for that, I am deeply humbled and grateful. This work cannot be done without your generosity and prayer.